Steve, we're in uh, sunny Wolverhampton today, Alan Crankshaft, your business. Uh, could you tell me a little bit more about the background of your company? Uh, yeah, well, uh, I've been here for about 16 years now. Um, in the background, all we ever do is make crankshafts for motorsport and uh, the vintage classic sort of industry, that sort of thing. Um, it's been going really well since I've been here. Um, my boss, he's been in the crankshaft business now for well over 40 years. He's got plenty of experience in it. Like, even me, myself, all I've ever done is machining, so I've got plenty of experience in cranks because I've been here for 16 years now. Is, is the market sort of growing, do you think? Because I know a lot of people are actually investing uh, money in sort of vintage cars and racing them. Is it something that you're seeing a, a, a growth for you? I think it is, yeah. Um, back when I first started working here, I certainly didn't do as many of the vintage and classic stuff then as I do now. I seem to be doing quite a bit more of the older stuff like. Well, one, one thing I've noticed is that uh, you're a big DMG Mori user here. Could you tell me a little bit about your relationship with DMG Mori? Uh, it's been really fantastic. I personally wouldn't use another machine. I've been a machinist all my life and uh, I wouldn't use anything other than a DMG Mori now. Um, they do exactly what they say on the tin. Right, that's it, end of. And uh, they make a really good job of machining our cranks, don't have any problems with them. They last for years and years and years. You're not going to worry about maintenance or anything like that. You look after them, they look after you. Um, but it is a good relationship we've got with uh, DMG Mori. As I, we have just invested in another NT, an NT4250, um, just to further our capacity in the market. And what type of machines you got here? Obviously, we're looking at an EK Mil 800 here, but with the NTs, multi turning lathes, really, aren't they? Yeah, they're a multi-axis lathe. They're both done in one. It, it's, you can do anything on a crankshaft with them. The technology is fantastic. Um, and, the, you know, from a raw billet to a finished product, it's done in one. And there are no further setups. Um, so we've got three of them at the minute. We've just invested in a fourth. Besides that, we've got a couple of vertical machining centers, a couple of horizontals. Um, but, yeah, primarily we're, uh, we're all out for using our, our NTs for, for the cranks. So, so obviously with the new edition coming very soon, does that give you the opportunity to, to offer to the market capacity? Yeah, definitely. That's exactly why we bought it. At the moment, we've got three NTs. Um, it'll reduce our man hours as well, really. By buying money. I won't have to work till silly hours of the night time now. So, uh, but yeah, it, it'll effectively add a third of our capacity onto the market. Uh, so the relationship with DMG Mori is obviously very strong. And, and the sort of service and backup you get from them? Service and backup, you don't really need because they're brilliant machines. They don't fail. They don't break down. But the service we get with them when we initially buy the machines from them and everything is brilliant, you know. So really, it's, a, it's another sort of British-UK manufacturing winner, isn't it, really? One, one with a DMG Mori relationship, but the crankshaft business for many industries is, is good for you guys. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, it definitely is good for us. And uh, the way things are going, who knows, two years' time, we'll probably buy another.